The next stall we're going to do is a cross-controlled stall. Again, this is a demonstration I'd be giving my student as a flight instructor to show them the dangers of entering a stall cross-controlled and the, how do pilots actually do this, right? We're on base leg. I'm descending about 500 feet a minute at 65 knots, pretty normal for this aircraft. And we're going to intentionally fly past my runway with my student. So I'm just going to start a normal left-hand turn with a normal aileron, normal rudder inputs. And this is when we realized, oops, we overshot the runway. So now I know how to get back there really quick. I'm gonna push in a bunch of left rudder, put in some opposite aileron, and pull back. Stop. You see, I get a stall indication almost immediately. So what I need to do is take out that cross-controlled input, input full power, build some airspeed, take out my flaps one notch at a time, and I'm still holding a climb because I want to get away from the ground. Yeah, ground's bad. Yeah. <laughs> so that all happened pretty quick, uh, but you can see how those inputs got us. It was enough to put it right over the edge.